Alaikum. Thanks, Lord. You are. You didn't say ni hao. Assalamu alaikum. Didn't they do? They can say ni hao. That job. Family lah. That chak chak what to do? The mic. But thank you for coming. Assalamu alaikum. This is. Bitten bila tu mizan ni hao. That job. Bagi alik. But in my end, this is nawali. Good assalam. That job. Bagi alik. Then you know what. Dear friends, my name is Orsia Zeji. I am from Albania, and uh, my specialization is uh, Islamic reformation in Europe and the process of de-Islamization, the process of de-Islamization and de-Ottomanization of Europe. Uh, I have my academic work deals with the process of expulsion of Muslims from Eastern Europe and the process of assimilation and forced conversion of Muslims into Christians in the Balkans. Nevertheless, I write time after time about the situation of Muslims in the Muslim world. I write about Palestine, about Syria, about Kosovo, and my research covers state propaganda, school and education, uh, educational brainwashing, and I also cover issues that are related to uh, geopolitical conflicts, and manipulation of religion. I am also a member of the Albanian government. I am a member of the Islamian community. I am a member of the Islamian community. I am a Palestine, Syria, Kosovo, Qatarlıq cəhiyyətdəki musulmanların əhvali, marəm bilən qıl yüş, şündaqlarla, rayonla arşidki, ya ki dövlətlə arşidki, coğrafiyilik məsələsi də təqq ilib barıqan bir təqqiq açıcı edirdi. The issue of Turkistan and Uyghurs has attracted my attention since many months. I have seen and read many articles about you, but since uh, maybe like eight years ago, the Western medias used the same kind of propaganda to radicalize many Muslims in Europe. I wanted to investigate what is really going on with you Muslims of China. Uh, for this reason, <coughs> a few weeks ago, I contacted the Chinese embassy in Tirana, the capital of Albania. Tirana is very close from where we are, is 900 kilometers, is closer than going to Gaziantep. So I contacted the Chinese embassy in Tirana and I told them, listen guys, I'm a historian and I am a journalist. And I want to know what is happening with the Uyghur Muslims of China because I suspect the Americans are lying about you and there is something bigger hidden behind what we hear in the media. Our Chinese friends in Tirana liked me and uh, a few days later they came back to me and they told me, Orsi, Xinjiang, Uyghur, Autonomous region is organizing a conference about uh, titled media executives in the road and belt countries and they told me are you interested to join and I told them yes I am Ben uh, Turkistanlıq Uyghurlar üçün ancıcıq bilməkdim deydim Sıla üçün azıraq nəsəni oxudum, ködüm, 
لیکن سلامی جرتشن میکنم یعنی یه سکیزی لوال غریب یعنی گزنی که یولر آرکل مش مسلمانان رادکالش روش ادیب بر واتلو شوناشکان من مو تخ آمریکی نه سلام کوزر کتروب من دام خلق قرار یالگان ایت و تام دیگه دیگه نیت بدن شونو بدن مش خطاهی که مسلمانان احوال نبرد پیشی چون بو آلبانیا نیکی یعنی ترانا شهری که خطاهی از شانس کن بریم من بر تاریخ من بر جون جونلیست یعنی آمریکی نه یالگان ایت و تام دب خرای من شنو می‌چون من آشنایی که بر مسلمانان احوال کرب بخشم دیگه نیکیم من یاکش کرده نیکیم من یاکش کرده شنو بدن بر پنجاه دیدن کیم مانگا خدای از شانس کم بدال آبادشیم مشوقتی نلاگه بر زیارت می‌میکنم بر دوالقی یه نمش بریم بر بر با الله اسم چند دو دوالق نیکیم من تکت کرده نیکیم. So our Chinese friends send us to Urumqi, the capital of uh, East Turkestan, or Xinjiang, how the Chinese call it. And we were a group of 20 journalists coming from Turkey, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, etc. And uh, the Chinese authorities, they send us in a big hotel in uh, Urumqi, where for the first uh, uh, two days, they delivered us a number of lectures where the Chinese authorities were explaining to us the fight against terrorism and the economical development of the <laughs> Xinjiang region. ام بیاید از شکوه زن گیب نه تجربه بره چونکه بو گیب ده الان که نترال حالا تو تربت دادو یعنی خدای دوستم دادم دادم دادم یعنی خدای دوستم است زده دادو یعنی شب ترکستان و مرکز بولان اروپیکه آبادیم بس پخش میگن دولت لاتین یکی می جونالس ترکیه دن سعود عربستان دن افغانستان دن بنگال دن هندستان دن هر پلیش خلیب دیگر قطعات برگان جدالت دن یکی می دهی پخور بادو بزن نایف چون گذار میکنم خانواده اورلاش دوری و یکیون بزگه یکی نشده دیدم یه بو یکی نم اساس مزمنی یه نم اویورلاگا اویورلانه ترور و کارش ترور یه نم اولانه بسکتروش اشکینیسی مشه شرط ترکستان نیکی اقتصاد احواله و ترقیات نم بزگی چند دوری دیدم. The Chinese authorities send us to a exhibition of terrorism. where they show to us how the Uyghurs were terrorists and were killing Chinese people. During our stay in Urumqi, Chinese communist leaders of the region, they presented us with a number of historical and political presentations where in a way, they were showing to us the history of the region, China's fight against terrorism, the plans of the Chinese government to develop Xinjiang and to turn it into a major power hub from where China is planning to develop its Silk Road, which is in a way an imperialist Chinese project, which aims to turn Central Asia and Africa into a Chinese market. And among others, the Chinese, uh, Chinese historians that presented to us, they presented us even a historical narrative of Xinjiang. They told us that Xinjiang has historically been Chinese, it always belonged to the Buddhist Chinese culture. And the Uyghurs, the Kazakhs, the Kyrgyz, the Tatars, they are all immigrants who came from outside of China. They also 
told us that Islam is a foreign religion in Xinjiang, which was brought forcefully by Karahanids and other Turkic kingdoms. And the historical narrative that the Chinese government presented to us was that Islam was a violent religion which was imported from the primitive Arabs and with its coming it stopped the progressive Chinese Buddhist civilization and later on they were telling to us that the violent Turks fought against the Uyghurs and forcefully turned them into Islam. When I heard this kind of presentations, I quarreled with a number of Chinese historians. Number one, I told them, sir, the version of the history you are presenting is wrong, because here we have the Altai Mountains, where the Turkic people come from. Number two, when we visited the museums of Urumqi, the mummies that the government of China was presenting they were Indo-Europeans, people with beers like, like you, not people without beers like the Han Chinese. And moreover, by presenting the Uyghurs as invaders and other Turkish people, and by presenting Islam as a violent and a foreign religion that does not belong to China, you are inciting hatred, I told them. How do you expect to coexist with the Uyghurs and other Muslim peoples when in the white papers produced from your government you show them as immigrants like those who come from Africa and Europe? Uh, Katalak Berkanje, Higain and his Allah Bundin, Yane Mushu Time of Burden, Avatulan Karaki, the CRC, Alke Kart of Shandodin, Hatta Sanian Kurnin Yoktu, Mushu Atami Shinjan the Terrake Pudro, Andinki, Bulan of the Kodor Bulan Yipek Yulin, Yane Yipek Yulin. Imperial, yeah, imperialism, you know, in Jan, Ultrasia, Africa, Kinemichlik, Kodaka, and Chip get them, they don't. They can stay out of the rain, Mushi Vatanangla, Yanet Turkstan, Yaki, Adalmish, Shinjan again, Yanatar of Tumbian, Stein of Parts again again, a Buyaki Asatin, a Buddhism again again, Uyurva Kazak Matan, a Buyan of Kushmata again again. Islam is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a Yani bulanın sevgi okşamayınlığın sakalları var, sakalları var, dert ben bulan engel kalıştım. Sen bunda dişinle tarık kılınan hakaret. Sen tarıkka hakaret kuvvet sildi diyorum dedim. Çabak kardeşler. However, uh, our Chinese friends, uh, of course, they were rejecting my objections and uh, their whole philosophy was that here in, in Xinjiang we're fighting terrorism and we have these Uyghurs who are terrorists. But we as good uh, communists that we are, we are trying to build a better Xinjiang. However, throughout our trip in Xinjiang, I'm sorry for using the term Xinjiang, but I want to use the term that they were using, <coughs> what we noted is that almost all the key leaders of Turkestan, they were Han Chinese. The Uyghurs were nowhere to see them. Especially in Urumqi, you thought 
if I am in Beijing here or I am in Turkestan. The historical narrative that the Chinese had built because they sent us to visit the uh, State Museum of Urumqi, State Museum of Aksu, and State Museum of Kashgar <coughs> was an imperial Chinese history. Now, China claims to be a communist state, a socialist state, which is led by the Communist Party of China. But as a professional historian that I am, I mean, I'm a historian and I examine history like the doctor examines your heart or your lung, lung when you are sick. So, I mean, this is my profession. This is why I was trained by the, the, the, the, the Europeans. So, the historical narrative that they had constructed in their state museums was showing Xinjiang as being eternally Chinese and Buddhist. And I told to our Chinese friends, excuse me, sir, this kind of history that you are showing, it is not Marxist, because you, you claim to be Marxist and communist, but Marx said that proletarians have no nation. This is a Han imperialist narrative that you are imposing in this province, which is inhabited by a majority Muslim population. And this is not what I expect from a socialist and communist country. Uh, on our third day of uh, stay in uh, uh, Turkestan, the Chinese authorities send us to a vocational training center. Vocational training center, when we speak in English, means a center where you go and you get skills. You, you become a plumber, you become an electricist, you become a, a carpenter, and you go and you pay fee, and you tell to your dad, dad, can you give me some money? I want to become a plumber. And the Chinese told us, guys, we're going to send you in a, in a school. And then from <laughs> Aksu, when we were, they took us in a bus. We drove like one hour in the middle of the Gobi Desert. And we see ourselves in the middle of Alcatraz. This was a concentration camp in the desert. But our Chinese friends, they, wanted, they, they thought that we were that idiot to believe in their fake propaganda. They told us, here is a school. And they said, wow, this is nice. And then they send us inside this prison, concentration camp. And they present us around 20 boys and girls who were singing and dancing. And they told us, come and film them. All right, I said, I'm filming. One minute, two minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I told them, guys, when are you going to finish? No, they told us, we have one hour of singing and dancing. I told them, excuse me, I didn't come from Europe to see singing and dancing Uyghurs. I want to question these people. Who are they? why they are here, what they have done. The Chinese felt very bad. They told me, no, no, we have to stay here. No, I told them, I'm going out. I go out from the hall, <laughs> and there were a number of Uyghurs uh, prisoners who were playing basketball there, and I went with my phone, this Samsung phone, and I told them, I want to interview these guys. They told me, no, no, no, no, no, it's impossible. But why I told them? Because they are having physical training. OK, I told them, I want to see their rooms. Where do they sleep? No, sir, no, no, you cannot do that. No, I told them, I'm going to film them. And I took my camera, and I found one room, and I enter, and I film. And I see a, a prison cell, <laughs> 10 beds. It was probably 20 square meters. They had one washroom and two toilets inside there, no privacy at all. And this was a prison cell. The Chinese went crazy with me. They were shouting, Arbania, Arbania, because I, I didn't follow their script. Continue. Thank you so much. Yani, Spy, Mineral Pulled the Dayton, Yan, Uyghurland, Trorik and Gida, Chung Tode, Yan Uyghurland, Trorist, Bis Communist Layakshi, Bis Yakshiber, Adam Machine Jan Kurishu and Kurash Watimis, 
Dəfiyyəni alacaq bədə deyilir. Barlıq Xıtaylə, yəni o yəni başqırlatqanla həmmizi Xıtaylə gən uyğurladın yox. Mən özəni Beycan kilib qaldım o, yəni Türkistanda kəldim o. Dəb özəmini biləmək qaldım, Aqzu və Qəşqələ qəqbadım. Mən bir tarixçı qədə sütdüm bilən, Muzilada alıq köydüm. Muzilada gölgən deyin ki, mən Xıtayla mı dedim deydi. Sən digən bu iş, sən özəmini marxistim deysən, ya ki, komünist partiyə deysən, bunda qınıq komünizm dəm yox, marxistim dəm yox, yəni bunda diktatorluq marxistim dəm yox. Şunun bələ, mən bir qanç kütüb, bir qanç gün kütüb, kütüb deyil, yəni kütüb deyil ki, nəndə ki, bizdə Aqsoq apadı, Aqsoq apadı deyil ki, Məşədə bizdə bir məktəb qapadı, məktəb qapadı deyil ki, bu məktəb çöldün qotdurda ikən, mən bunun cəza layiqini gəlikini, Cəza layiqəri gələkini sıqıldım. Məncə, məktəb digəndə... One second. This is the prison cell where the Uyghurs of the so-called vocational training school are living. And you can see even the conditions of their tolerance. Bu, açıq, cəza layiqəri digi bir öy gəndəyidir. Yəni, bu öyünün əqbalını işəni körələsilə, bu tərbiyyələş mərkizəməz, bu bir türməndir. Stop it, stop it. Çönü otdurdu idi, yəni bu ne, bir yəni məktəbdə bizi aldırmaqcı oldu, yəni bizi dörd görüb qaldı. Ləqin, yəni bir yəni məktəb əməz, cazar lağırı gəlləkini his qıldım, yəni yəqə kirgəndəyi ki, yigirmi də qız oğulla bilən maymunladı, bizgə naxşusul oynaşıq başlı deyil edir. Yəni, qaranlar bu xoşad yaşalardı, dəb önüm qıldı, anı ki, onu yigirmi onu ötkəndəyi ki, Mən zorudum, qaçamış davamlışdı bu dəsəm, gəl bir saat var. Digəndəyik ki, mən Yavrupadın bir yəgə naxşı bilən uzun ilə qəyirlər gəlmədim. Mən bu yədikilə kimlə, nimi üçün bu lagirdə, bunların günah iləmə, mən bunu biliş üçün gəldim də olur. Ya, nimidən çıxdım? Çıxqandı ki, mən çıxıq gətdim dəyir, çıxıq gətsəm, a meydanda bir qanç uyğurla vasitqbol oynayıq tutdu. Mən olanı ziyarət qılay desəm, yax, yax, yax, sən ola qanma, ola uyə də təndər bəyə qıvatıdır, yəni təndər bəyə də şox olmaqdı dedim. Ondaqda mən olanın yatıqını görməm dedim, şunun mənə kameranı aldım, yada kirdim, hər bir öy təqər 20 kvadrat metr ətrafı digən, yəni bu baytın digəndə, Bu, bir tərimələr mərkəsi olmasıdır, həqiqi bir türmi gəlləkini his qıldım dəyəm. This is a school where the Uyghurs were so happy, they are coming there by their own desire, and uh, that we are doing them a great favor by educating these people. Now, after we didn't accept to film the dancing and uh, the singing of these poor kids, <coughs> I told them after this, now, I want to ask these people, who are you? What have you done? What is your crime? Because the propaganda that we have, look, everything is in Chinese here. They are talking about Chinese scholars. <coughs> so the propaganda that we get is that these people are killers, are terrorists, are radical Islamists, and you, the good and the smart Chinese, you are educating these people. You are civilizing these suicide bombers. Yəni, biz məktəb fikir gəndəyik ki, biz məktəbdə film qabmanları turvaldı. 
yani mektep uygulamalı layıklı hoşal yaşamak kaldığını biz ulağın yerine kuvvetimiz yani ula adem öldürülen terörizle, radikalle şuna çıkan biz bunların radikallığını yoktu bir yakşı insanlığa aynen durmak için dedim yani yap ben de turu aldım dedi. Zaten bu yerlerde kimler? Bunlar ne mi kıldı? Ben bunlara bir bakmak için de bunlara ne mi boysun mu dedi? Lan, bu yüzden Oğul derdi için Orhan Çaynıyız Onlar bu yüzden sen into these concentration camps because I asked our Chinese friends is there any Chinese going into the school? They told me no. But who is going here? Only Muslims. Uyghurs, Kyrgyz, Kazakh, Tatar. But for you to qualify for going in this concentration camp, you have to be a Muslim. Now, the other test that we did, look, I put my camera, he is one of their teachers. And first I tell to the kids, Salam Aleikum. Unlike you guys who said Aleikum Salam, they said, Ni hao. Salam Aleikum. Salam. They went, Nihau. And I had this Turkish friend who understood the Uyghur language and he told them, Ben, Bayanam, Istanbul, and he was talking to them Turkish. And they were saying, Nihau, Nihau. And I asked them, are you guys Uyghurs? Yes. They were saying yes, but in Chinese. And they did not speak a word in their language. And we understood and said, wow, what is going on? And here is one of their teachers. Now I wanted to prove if these are real schools or their prisons. And for the people who have seen this video, I asked them, who are these people? Why they have come here? Can they go back to their homes? And the question, the answer was that they are radicals, extremists, and they're not allowed to go home. But the school where you are not allowed to go home, the school where you are forced to be taken from your home as a criminal, a radical, a terrorist, that is not a school, but is a prison or a concentration camp. Yeah, thank you. Uh... من بیاید هم بیان اون اخترشلری پیدا کرد خدای لگن، لیکن بیاید کریان یا بیاید کامل بالا، اویور لگن. من بیاید خدای ملام با ما و دکتردم یا بیاید کریان دار فقط مسلمان لالا، یا اویور مسلمان لی، کریز مسلمان لی، قزاق مسلمان لی، یعنی فقط مشتاق می کرد و دیدم. دیگر نیکی من السلام علیکم دیدم، السلام علیکم دستم با و نی ها و دب جواب کردی. Türkiye cenazesiniz de yapsa biz yani niye halde cevap verdi? Uygur mu desek, hatta özüm tanıdım o, ben Uygur de cevap vermedi. Yani Hıtayca cevap verdi dedim. Ben bunların o okutsuza, bu zade mektep bu ya bir tür mü bu? Bunlar demiş ki bir kendi, bunlar ülke iki tane de o desem, bunlar radikal, aşkımla ülke iki tane de o cevap verdi. Ben bir yerden bir mektep emez. بر جزا لاغری کرد که نه آشوفت یه بر قدم تونو بیادن دیگه. And then I started questioning some of the of the students of the so-called vocational schools because the Chinese told us these are schools. And I asked this girl, what is your name? I forgot her name. No need, no need for no So I asked her, what is your name? She told me her name, maybe Fatima or something. And I told her, why you are here? Because I have made a crime, she told me. And what was your crime? She, she said, I put a headscarf, like you Muslim sisters there. You should all go to this concentration house. <laughs> Not really, I'm joking. And, uh, I asked them, what was your crime? First, we put the uh, hijab. Second, I read Quran. Third, I told to my mother, come and pray with me to God. And for this, you are a criminal? Yes, she said. 
I told her, I gave her salam alaikum, she told me, of course, ni hao. And I told her, do you believe in God? No, she told me. And she was looking at her Chinese teachers. Is, am I saying the right thing? Yes. But what do you believe, I told her. She said, I believe in science and in the Communist Party of China. And then man, yen soal koydum. Bu şu sen diye ne? Kaç tane bir deş merkez mi oldu sen? Şunda dedi. Onda ben bir soru sorup kaydım. Bir kızdın soru sordum dedi. İsmi ne merdiven sordum? Lakin ben ismini unutmadım. O muyum emes? Lakin pati merdiven duraydı. Cinayet ne merdiven sordum? Birse yavuk salvalıktım. Yen birse Kur'an okuyordum. Üçüncüsü apam ne? Namaz kılgalı mümkün, namaz kıl diyelim ki mümkün. Benim eşek sonu diye dedim. Allah işlem sen sen, yak dedi o dedi. Ne mi kişin sen? Anlıyken Allah işlem sen de söyledi, yak dedim. Anlıyken Kıhtay okusu kara, ben toğrıdım dedim o diye de özünün okutusu da karı dedi. Anlıyken sen ne mi kişin sen desem, ben Allah işlemdeyim, ben hem teknikliğe ve hıstanız partisiye işin ben de cevap verdiğim dedi. I asked the other guy why you are here and what is your crime. His crime was that in 2012 he had beaten two other guys and for this he was sent to jail until 2014. And then, when he was released from prison, one day he had prayed to God in his uh, area in the field, but in public. And because he had prayed to God in public, immediately after prison, he was taken and sent to the concentration camp. <laughs> Ben işki mohon işki incili, işki bana grup boyu bana kumucun, ben işki kumadın, anneye bir ay çıkan denkiyen, Allah'a tövbe kılıp, muşu cemaat orunda namaz kılan kumucun, muşu lağlarda yana kumak koydu. Our, the interviews that we made in the concentration camps of Aksu and Kashgar show to us that the people who had been sent in this stop it, just make it big, only so <coughs> that the people who had been sent in these concentration camps were people who some, one person for example had written on his Twitter account that for someone to be a real Muslim he must pray five times per day for this crime, he was taken by local communist authorities and sent to concentration camp. Another lady, whose name was Kuzame Mahmoudi, you can find all these videos in my channel, she was sent to this concentration camp only because she wanted to eat halal food. She refused to take government subsidies because she thought this is not halal money. And for this reason, she was taken from her home, separated from her two-year-old baby, and was for almost two years in this, in the Kashgar concentration camp. And these people were not allowed to see their families. In this center, they were forced to 24 hours a day speak Chinese, to reject their religion of Islam, to forget and refuse their Uyghur or Kyrgyz or Kazakh language, and to believe in the science and in the Communist Party of China. So what we found out was that these were not only concentration camps. These were thought control camps. For the people who have read George Orwell's novel 1984, where <coughs> pardon, the big brother controls not only your body, but even your soul, these camps are thought policing 
prisons. And like Jesus Christ said in the Bible, be afraid not of those people who kill your body, but those people who kill your soul. The Chinese are not only imprisoning the Uyghurs, are not only mass arresting them, but they are killing their soul. They are turning them into robots. I mean, I visited Israel and Palestine, brothers and sisters, but I have not seen such a horrible country. The Chinese authorities with whom I spoke, when we asked, I asked one of the communist secretaries who was always, all the time with us, how many people you have like this in these concentration camps? He told me, I believe it should be around half a million. The one million number is an exaggeration. Thank you. Yani ben bu şu Kaşka ve Aksu Cariyan'daki bu şu ceza lagerlerine yani ziyaret kılıç cariyanı da yani asaslıkı bu şu insanların ki ne mücün cinayet kılkallıkını şunu en ıklaşık ektiriştim deydi. Birincisi cennet kikiriş için beş vak namaz kılmak için bakallar. Yani birisi Kuzama Mehmutlu isimlik bir ayağını ki halal yemeklik yiyiş için urun kallıkı Kıtay'dan elke tüm kapalat pulu almayı ben çünkü Kıtay'dan pulu dem almakalık için iki yaşlık kızıdan ayrı koyu iki yıldan bu yan Kaşka ceza lagırı da e, ikenliği ve annesini e, körgü koymakalıkını bildirimde yani bu yada yigir mi dostlar sıla Kıtay sözü şınlığa girek iken dinlilerin tahtı şınlığa girek iken Uyghur kimlik yığlani, Kazak kimlik yığlani, Kırgız kimlik yığlani unutuşun layık rekken. Fakat Fen Teknikiğe ve Hıhtay Komünist Partisi bu işin için layık rekken. Bu ya fakat cazarla böyle olmazdın. Ruhni, ideyeni e, kontrol kıldığın e, bir cazarla girekken. Yani 1984 yılı diken kitap ne kadar en kokunuşlarsa bedenin ya ki senin ölüp gitişinle bulmazdın. Belki ruhi dinlerinin, yani kalbinlerinin kontrol kılışı e, dep yazgan. Şuna şıkkak bir yerde senin cismınlarını nermez. Senin ruhi dinlerini, senin kalbinlerini kontrol kılıp kallanlarını yüp başlamakçı olur tuttu. Ben dünyada bunda vehimlik, bunda dehşetlik e, bir devleti görüp bakmağın neydi? İsrail'de <gülüyor> Uladın bettirerek halet ikenslerde bunu bir neç kıtım, bir kancıya da Demek bizim vatandaki zulüm, hatta Palestin'deki zulümün mu yok ikenlikine yeni bir kıtım dünyada çıkardı kardeşler. And uh, the day uh, when we went to the Aksu concentration camp, before we could see the concentration camps, I uh, tried to interview one Uyghur <coughs> who was already working with the Han Chinese and I wanted to see what kind of people the Chinese wanted to create in uh, Turkestan. So uh, maybe like three hours before going to the Axel concentration camp, <coughs> we went to a, a, a, a, a private plantation near the Gobi Desert, where the Chinese uh, government was uh, growing uh, fruits. And I interviewed this girl. <coughs> Her name is Aisha Mahmoudi. Her name, Aisha, like the wife of Prophet Muhammad, her surname Mahmoudi. And uh, I said, very good. <coughs> Let me interview one Uyghur lady and to see who these people are, because the Chinese, they didn't let us to contact people. 
uh, whenever we were trying to interview people, people were running away because they were afraid. But for Aisha, they allowed me. <coughs> and I told to Aisha, Salam Alaikum, and she told me, Ni hao. My God, again. And, uh, okay, uh, I told to Aisha, how are you, what are you doing? And she told me I'm working in this farm. And I told her, uh, are you a Muslim? She told me, no, I'm not a Muslim. But what are you, I told her. She told me I'm a communist, I believe in Marx. Very good, I told her. Have you read Marx? She said no, she didn't read Marx. Good. Then, uh, I told her why you don't believe in, in, in, in, in, in God. The answer was that in the concentration camp, she believed in science. I told her, do you know what is the meaning of your name, Aisha? She said no. I told her Aisha is the wife of Prophet Muhammad. She pretended that she didn't know. <coughs> and all the time, she was speaking in Chinese. So, the new Uyghur that the Chinese authorities are producing are people like Aisha Mahmoudi, who refused to say Salam Alaikum, who refused to be Muslim, who refused their culture, who refused to speak Uyghur, in few years, in few words, even though she looks Indo-European, she behaves, speaks, and thinks like a Chinese. <coughs> so, what the Chinese are doing through these concentration camps, they are producing a new Uyghur generation, which looks Uyghur, which is named Uyghur, but it is not Uyghur, it is Chinese. Yani ben muşa aksu cezalı ayıgır bir işin üç saat burun xtay bizden şu çölge etman dedeydim. Yani Türkistan'daki aksu şehredeki nemige bir işin üç saat aldı da çölün oturu da bir yerde yeşillaştırıp var kalıklığını yani o yerde meyciyle üstürü var kalıklığını köset dedeydim. Anlayken ben muşu bir yerde birkaç kişi bilen söhbet kılay desem şu an Ayşe Mehmet isimli bir kız bilen beni sözleşkili koydu. Lekin Nurgun Uygurla koku keçivan oldu dedi. Anlıkken ben Ayşe'den Esselamu Aleyküm dedim. Yeni lan o ne hal? Dep cevap verdi. Sen Müslüman mı? Dep sorudum. Ben Müslüman emez dedi. Sen onda hattı ne merdisem? Ben komünizmci, yani Hıhtay Komünist Partisi'ye işe işin dıgan bir adam dedi. Marksizini, Marksizini okup bakkan mı? Desem. Ya ben okup bakmağın dedim. Ne mücün Allah'a iş etmeysen desem ben komünizm işin ben dedim. Yani ismin Ayşe ki ismanın ben sizin bilemsen de sorusam yap ben bilmeyi ben de cevap verdi. Yani o Peygamberimiz Muhammed sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem dedi. Ayağının ismi de ne kıldım? Andın ki Hıhtay Bülgörü'nün kutbakını muşlu bu okşaş Yerin özünün Müslümanlığını unutan, özünün Uygurluğunu unutan, özünün Meryi'ni unutan Müşünde Mankurlarını yetiştirmek için bulu vatkallı ki Yeni, yeni Uygurlar meydan kesme Lekin ula Uygurlar dek, lekin kaldısı, nengisi Hıhtayçı sokuduğun bir milletke aylandırmak için bulu vatkallı ki Şahit buldum deydi When... When uh, I visited the, the Uyghur, I mean the Aksu concentration camp in, in that day, maybe it was, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 20th of uh, August, uh, as soon as I saw the horrific conditions of this concentration camp, <coughs> when I went in my hotel, I immediately uploaded my videos on YouTube. My videos went viral, I was immediately contacted by hundreds of Uyghurs and journalists. Many people were writing to me, telling me, sir, are you in Aksu, are you in Hotan, are you in Kashgar, are you in Urumqi? Can you please find my son, my brother, my daughter, my mother? I mean, all kinds of requests. Uh, 
A friend of mine who was working for Anadolu Agency, he was contacted from his office in Ankara and they told him who is this guy that is uploading these videos and he told them that he's my friend, he's an Albanian and he told him you are in a big danger for publishing these videos because they are very sensitive and the Chinese will get crazy with you. From this moment onward, the Chinese understood that I was uploading videos from their concentration camp. From this moment onward, I was always followed by two or three Chinese uh, uh, spies. They were following me even when I was going in Washington. And I didn't have any more freedom to ask or to question people for what was going on. Nevertheless, the other journalists who were with us, they understood the game. And when we went to the Kashgar camp, most of the questions were made by them. And the Chinese authorities, they went mad. They told me, Orsi, what have you done to us? We had before you eight other journalist delegations, but nobody made what you are doing. I told them, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy and I do very difficult questions, but don't worry, I love you. Yani Aksola Gurava, Yani Sengzinjana Gay, Yigir Minja Kudre, Atrapada Bolish Krek, Nanbo Kokunus Akwal Gurgan Dinkin, Yerim Kichida, Mush YouTube, Mush Tufnunda, a Kamira Alvan Nasani, Chai Nechkat and the Gatum Kichida, Brigitte Kurvetum, Yane Torvich Kurvetum. Shunomlan, Membelan, Yuzak, Yuzak, Uyurla, Gizitila, Norbon Kishla, Hotelden, Ossan, Ossodomo, Sen Hotelmo, Sen Teshkadmo, Sen Urujudomo, Minun Kizim Nadigan, Minun Apam Nadigan, Minun Karandashim Nadigan, and that Norvolan Nimelan, Uchurlane, Badin, Andingin, Mushu Turkadin, Bursa Tufu Kalem, Mush Anadolo Murga. Bu ishtakwat kanzali kim yani dikin. Bu bizden bir dostumuz demdur. Yani bir Albanya dedi yani dikin. Şu nomlan sen hatar içide. Sen bunda kumsanla bulat de dem anda demdur. Diğer dikin an dikin ikiş xtay. İşbiyonları dedi yani hatar karakçıları. Suhan avazım suhan avadi erkek ve kimde bu hoş başlı dedi o. Yani Yani ben bilen hakkı Minin, minin sahipte bu da sarang bulup gitti deydi o Yani seks kıtımlık Müs uğurlaştırgan Lekin hiç kim Munda sana uçuş kıt bakmıgan Sen kıtkanlık kılmedi Sen ne mücün Munda kılsam desem Ben başka uçuşat uçmayım ben Ben bir telbe Ben bir yigit Ben bu de kılmen Dabdok verin Nevertheless, I told to our Chinese uh, uh, hosts that what they were doing with you guys was a crime against humanity. I told to the Chinese communist leaders who had organized our trip and whom I thank for paying for the ticket and for the hotel, I told them you have to stop what you are doing. These so-called vocational training centers are not schools, but are prisons. They are concentration camps where you are imprisoning the Uyghurs only because they are Uyghurs, because they believe to be Uyghurs, because they speak Uyghur, and because they believe in Islam. I told them, you are worse than the Taliban's. I told them, you are Assay's Taliban's. You are more extreme than the Taliban. Yani, Kıhtay'a ben şunu dağıtıdım, dedi. Sıla bu yada, insaniyetke, insaniyetke, insaniyet için cinayet işlevatı sıla, 
Yani mangı beğen, ıspatka, yani beğen mangı mihman kandan ulaştırıp çıkımdan götürüp kalıpka rahmet eydim ben. Lekin çokum uyarıki cinayeti çokum toktuluş gerek. Bu mekte haç terbiyeleş merkezi olmazdı. Bula bir türme ceza dağılırken size bula uygur boğalı gönçün, musulman boğalı gönçünle bir yerge bula sen tamam açısıyla. Size hatta Taliban'da mı öte vehşi kesle, hatta size kanne Taliban'la mı kınmaydı o dedim deydi. I told the, to our Chinese hosts, what would have you done if China would have been invaded by Japan and the Japanese would have taken you into this such concentration camps and would have forced you would have forced you to renounce your religion to speak Japanese and to separate you from your families you would have fought to the end to liberate yourselves I told them what you are doing against the Uyghurs is an unimaginable crime. Their argument was that we are fighting terrorism and because we have built these concentration camps, we didn't have any terrorist attack for the last two years. I told them, you are mass radicalizing the Uyghurs. What you are doing is an anti-Chinese policy. <laughs> you should treat Uyghurs like your brothers. You should not humiliate the Uyghurs. You cannot turn the Uyghurs into Chinese. You are too late. This is the 21st century. The world is not going to tolerate you for this. And I told them, believe me, maximum in 10 years, a foreign power is going to arm these Uyghurs and they are going to burn your country. Eğer sizlerin bu kıvalkınla ne deydim? Misalen ki Yapullah deyli, sizlerin cezalı ağırlığı taşlap, cezalı ağırlığı takıp, taşlap, dininle taşlap kuzuk. Eğer aile anladın ayrıslar, sizler kandak kılattınlar dedim. Sizler bir yerde tasavvurun konuklu bulmaydıgan bir cinayette işlevi sizler desem, biz terörüzün de yokluşu tırışı vardımız. Yani aldığım iş yıldım bu yan, yani bu atalmış Şincan'da hiç kandak bir terörün erkekleri bu bakmadı. Şuna şıkkak bu bizden kılavat kılımız. Yakşı dert özünü aklaştı, başlı diye deydi o. Yani bu Uygurlar için kılavatkan ırkı kırkıncılığına yakı bulmuşsak kulağını radikallaştırır. Yani radikallaştırır vatkan bu kılmışlığına. Sizlerki çokun bir günü bedel dolu tutun. Yani ben de yine bir yuvası edeceğim ki bırak. Sizler Uygurlarla öz anlarının karindiş katarı da görüşürler gerek. Yani sizler kulağını Hıhtay'a özgürtürmez, ya ki Hıhtay'a almıştırmız. Dep bu adı sizler, sizler keş kaldığınla. Yani 21. əsirdeki Muşun'da bir günde sizler Uygurlarla ondan kılıp bulanmayız da. Yani 10 yılda belki taş güçle Uygurlarla korallandırıp Özdağına gel bir afet edip gelişimi gelip Apart from visiting the concentration camps I tried to visit mosques when I was in Turkestan the Chinese authorities, they didn't leave us time to visit Muslims and mosques. For people who have seen my videos, we were in guided tours. Nevertheless, what we found out when we were in Urumqi, two central mosques that we visited in the Urumqi Bazaar, they were closed. One mosque, the historical big mosque of the Bazaar, was turned into a market. And when we were in Kashgar, I told to our Chinese hosts, we want to visit and to pray in a mosque. Because you have sent us in empty mosques, because they send us into uh, mosques. 
I told them, we want to go and see how people pray in here. And finally, they allowed us to visit the central mosque of uh, Kashgar for Juma. And what we found out when we went there, the people who were praying there were 60 or 50 years and above. No youngsters. The Chinese have declared a war on Islam in Turkestan, Xinjiang. And if you are under 50, you are afraid to go to the mosque. You are afraid to read the Quran. You are afraid to talk with your friend and to tell him we are Uyghurs. And this region is called Turkestan. Because if somebody is going to hear you, you are going to end up in a concentration camp. Yeni ziyaret jaryanı da na Abbas'ın diyen de Hıhtay kaldılar kendimiz ki kırvaldı. Yani Türkiye, Türkistan'daki mescidlerini, Türkistan'daki insanlar bile görüşeyi desek biz de vakit vermedi, fırsat vermedi. Şunu bilen ürümcü de içki mescidini ziyaret kılmak için olduk. Yani ürümcüdeki, yani şu çoğun bazardaki, gren bazardaki mescidindeki takalgalık yani yani bazarga aynı rövet geldiğini gördük. Yani Tungan mescidinin ama takalgalıkını dedim. Yani Kaşgar'daki mescid, Kaşgar'ı bağında biz namaz okuyumuz, namaz kılımız, bizi mescid yapalım. Biyat ki Müslümanlar kandak namaz okuyduk diken diken, Kaşgar'daki hikka mescid yapalım. Bu yada karısak hemmisi 60 yaş dün yokurla, yani yaşlar yok. Hemen bunu görgen deyikin, bulanın İslam'a uruş aşkallıkını aşağıda his kıldım deydi. Yani 40 yaş dün tüvelde ola Kur'an okusa, meşkı varsa, özünü uygur dese, bu şu Türkistan diyarı da ulanın ceza alakalığa kamıldı kallıkını bilip yettim deydi. Uh, what I saw and reported from my latest visit in Turkistan, I know that have made you guys very heavy, but at the same time have turned me into an enemy of China. When, I saw, when I saw what I saw in uh, Aksu and in Kashgar, I had two options. One, to lie and to say that everything is fine in Xinjiang, Turkestan. The second one was to tell the truth. Brothers and sisters, I know that China hates me at this moment, but I do not hate China, I'm not against China, but I cannot lie because I'm afraid of the blood and of the life of your brothers and sisters. I cannot lie for your people who are suffering in these concentration camps. I know that China is a world superpower. Yani ben Madrid'de şehir Turkistan'da ziyaret oldum. Ahu ve Hashkalar'da gördüm. Yani bu cayanda özgü bir sual koydum dedim. Muşkayın gideri de işini yalan taraf tutayım mı? Ya ki Hakta tutayım diye bir özel bir soru koydum. Toğra beni Hıhtay hazır öşkürüdüm. Lekin ben hazır mı Hıhtay'da öşkürmeyim ben. Lekin silah için, Mişat Yaşavatkan mezunlar için, kırındaştırım için, ben yalan demez, hakikat bir dalda diyorum. I want to tell to the Chinese authorities who are watching this video, I have nothing against China. You guys have nothing against China. You are not terrorists. You are not criminals. You are not suicide bombers. You are human beings who believe in your God and in your ethnic identity. China should immediately close the concentration camps that they have made against you. What China is doing with you is similar to what Hitler did with the Jews during the Holocaust. China should stop the genocide against the Uyghur nation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.
Bunu körvatkan Xtay tacavuz zorga Şunu da kuyay ekin de ben aşırvattım azıraq yani Xtay ile akışını da kuyay deyin o Mən ağır mı Xtay karşılamayım mən? Uyğurlar Yeni silə terör cəməz Silə radikal cəməz Silə aşkı nəməz Silə fəqat və fəqat Bir Uyğur musulmanların Yeni mən Xtay ile yeni bir de kuyay ki Çoxum silə ceza lagirini Takışılan kirək Sıla yıldırmın yavuldan kıvantan bu işini kuvatsa çoğun ceza alabiline takışımla girerek Hıhtay'a tavsiyatı olmalıdır. Ağabeyler, hemen ona girelim.